Yeah, I know my mental health matters. Thank you. Right. Hey, what up? It's Jordan again. I'm ready to play more Leers of Fear. You ready to watch more Leers of Fear? What, what are we walking for? What, what's that? Okay. Right. I believe in the end. He knew that one can't make art. A true art. Without cracks. Without breaks. And without pain. So it's been a little bit of time. It is currently, like, what? January... Uh, <laughs> I think 11th, January 11th, 2024. I've looked up just enough to know that I do have to play these now. Or like, if I want to. And I do want to. So, uh... Right, yeah, yeah, I remember all this. I wasn't the biggest fan of how they remade the first game. But, uh... Oh, what's this one? There's Inheritance. Look, I've played Inheritance before, so... I will play it on this video, or maybe not this video, on this playthrough, but let me do something new first so that I can come back to that, to kind of break up the pattern, because all the rest of this is going to be new to me, and I'm going to be a lot more anxious. Like With the stuff I've played before, I'm not going to be as anxious, and you guys want to see me get anxious, don't you? Oh, what's this one? The final note. Yeah. Musician story. My very first memory is that of hitting a piano key. My small, chubby finger. The cold, smooth ivory under my skin. And then, acceleration. Pure joy as I heard the immediate response to my action. The sound that appeared just because I pressed that key. I'm not gonna let it go. I won't be imprisoned. Is this the wife? I don't know how I didn't make that connection. Yeah, this has got to be the wife, because she was a musician. And she was imprisoned, but... God, those noises. What am I getting myself into? I need someone to confide in. And that someone is me. On one hand, I get it. But on another hand, wow, that's a really corny way to word that. Like, he could have said, and that someone is art. <laughs> that would have also gotten the point across. You mustn't give up. You had everything any of us ever wanted. You still do. Your talent, your marriage, your daughter. None of these went away. The only thing the flames changed was you. You have power over yourself. Live your life. Reclaim it. Don't let your body be your cage. Excuse me. <coughs> Don't let your body be your cage. Your friend forever. Beatrice Gillespie. I think a bit of insight into why I get so anxious, or like why I didn't get so anxious during the remake of Layers of Fear 1. When I've played a game before, or when I know the structure of a game, even if it's remade, I will go quicker through it. I won't take my time with it so much. But 
when I do take my time with something, like with something new that I haven't experienced before, I will really take in the atmosphere. But hey, that's why I'm recording this. These are ungodly noises. Hush now, baby. I'll tell you a tale. There was a man whose world wasn't pale. There was a woman who made the world sing. And they found love the most beautiful thing. Yeah, I guess I'll just gather these pieces of paper with me as I go for a little walk around the house. Right, so yeah, we're in metaphor mode here. After some time, they had a child that brought light to their life, a lot of light. She loved her parents, her dolls, and her toys, and even Daddy wasn't mad at her noise. That's a very loud cello. But then one day there was a fire. It took from mommy all her desires. She didn't know what to do with her life. Uh, she lived in constant strife. What's up, dude? How I look behind me. I mean, yeah, probably. At least according to the painter's eye and using the medium of paint. To answer your question. Oh, it begins. Fair enough. It's so dark in here. Time to let the light in. Right. We're gonna have to deal with this mechanic again. So let me just double check. I'm on safe mode, right? Yes, thank God. Just look, man. Scary is one thing. I've had this talk with my girlfriend because we definitely don't... Like, we diverge on the point of what kind of horror games we like I just like I get annoyed by the game mechanics of combat like I went over this stuff in the last stuff whatever so I'm just gonna stay on safe mode and I'm gonna have to ask you guys to be okay with that all right well what are you doing? What, are you adding your own your own paint to it? Uh huh. So it's all blocked out. Am I? I see. I'm changing where the door is. Morphine prescription. Right. So I'm on morphine. I see the bloody handprints on this door. You gonna close behind me? I'm actually a little bit more scared about the fact that you're not. Now you did. Or that one did. 
Got some bandage. What in God's name was that? Gonna close that for a bit. Is that my own shadow? I don't know what that is. It's probably that. That shadow. Remember, Jordan, you've got a flashlight and you're on safe mode. Alright, so that is an option. Let me just check my other options here. There's also a door there. I hate this, but it seems simpler than playing the violin. For now. Feels like sewing myself in place, though. Binding myself to my prison. You're really good at it. Hello? Why is this such a long co corridor? Don't worry, Jordan. This is not going to be as scary as Lost in Vivo. Not by a long shot. Not by a long shot. Not by a long shot. Silent. Be silent? It's remarkable how much tension they added just by... It's like they've basically made it so the first layers of fear built up this what I'm playing right now. It was built up this notion of... Like it showed you how much the painter hated his wife. <laughs> and that now it they finally put you in the shoes of the wife. And it's terrifying. You know what? <laughs> Give me a second. Oh. I don't know if I'm ready for this. But I'm on safe mode. Look, okay, I'm going to turn on my lamp. So at least, okay. I'm really anxious about this, and I'm also going to turn down the volume on my headphones. Jesus Christ. Oh, hey. Just, I wasn't ready for that right now, okay? Music stopped. It's like one simple thing. It's like, could could you imagine if every now and again they just didn't play that music? How surprising it would be. And maybe in some ways scarier. I'm back here. God, I hate this. Okay, well. <laughs> I'm going to turn the headphones back up a little bit. And I might turn off my lamp. I'll try turning off my lamp for now. I, think, look, I didn't even have to say it out loud, did I? You guys wouldn't have known if I'd turned on the lamp without me saying it. But I want to be honest. When I'm scared, I want to be honest. And like, the coward in me is thankful that they play the same music every time. 
can't get to that. But the coward in me is not the artist in me. Jesus Christ. Hey, buddy. Go away. that real quick. Catch your breath. <sighs> so I know that like a horror game doesn't want to be made for the cowards like me. I know this. Take it away. I can't look at it. And don't try to bind me again. What would I do without you? This prison would be unbearable. That's open. What are you doing? I, I don't want it! Take it away! D take it away! There's going to be more. I can't go on like this. I need to break free. I mean, yeah, I've, I've gathered that. Thank you. Yeah, we have a nice little inspirational story of her trying to break free. Although... <laughs> Literally, as I was saying that sentence, I remembered how her story ends. What's up? God. I can probably make it like a another point here about how even in safe mode the enemies are still scary it's still unpleasant to run into them and what's unpleasant about it is that you don't run into them right away like seeing him walk at you from down a dark corridor knowing that he's gonna be there waiting with my flashlight knowing I have to just keep walking forward that is quite tense and it's quite effective. And you don't need a fail state in order to, to convey that. If the finger you put it on has been deformed, destroyed, does the marriage even stand a chance? There's a lot I could say about that. Luckily, I can take refuge in music. That's when my shackles get lighter, if only for a little while. Even the gramophone helps sometimes. I feel much better after listening to some vinyl. But Abadaba also seems to think it helps. 
I'm trying to look at the scribbles there. It looks like slightly like Edward, but it also looks like Druid. And I somewhat doubt his name is Druid. It ends in a D. And the first letter looks like an E. But there's something in between. Like Elud. Right, okay. Huh. <sighs> What fresh hell awaits me now? We thought everything we wanted to hide would fit here. How stupid we were. Today, a lock jammed in the bathroom door. I started screaming, begging anyone to open it. It was a good half an hour before a maid showed up. I don't understand. I lock the doors in the house all the time. But something about being in a room I couldn't leave was just unbearable. Excuse me. <coughs> so, they're all going to look like this. I can't really complain about that, because I get why they're doing it. It's quite effective for the story. I hate it. I can't breathe in here! Oh god, the door's gone. Oh, nice. Oh, I love this kind of thing. <gasps> what if I turn around the other way? Um... There aren't many buttons I can press. should breathe as well. Even my instruments have their prisons. I mean, it's also so you can carry them easily and not do damage to them. I was just seeing if I could hide in there. And now I can't close it. That's actually weird. Okay, that kinda got me. Scale. Do you want to stay with me, little bird? It's safe here. Suffocating, but safe. Yeah, I feel that way about cats. Okay, it's time to start collecting things. Got a door there. Maybe you want to fly away into the unknown and learn how to breathe again. Would it be better outside? I wonder, like, if I'd have just stayed there watching it, would, would I have seen it happen? Because, like, I noticed in the first 
the, ga the remake of the first game. There's a lot of things that happened as I looked away. And maybe I was being too hard on it. Maybe it's stuff that it would have happened if I'd kept looking at it. And the reason I didn't keep looking at it was because it was a remake of a game I've already played. So I just kind of sped through it a bit. I don't know. Oh, God. Just listening for the music. There's nowhere to run! Why would you need to run? Oh, the walls are closing in. Yeah, close that door. Thank you. More paintings. Ugh. I know it now. I'm measured. My room is shrinking every day. He paints it at night, and every morning the walls are this much closer. My prison grows smaller every day. Damn. I like that. I mean, I like that as a horror device. I feel like my life is falling apart. Everything I touch breaks. Oh, I love... <coughs> God, yes, I love it when Layers of Fear does this. Where I've got to... Ju I just look around. <laughs> And now my flashlight doesn't even work. Or, okay, the, I, I see the game was loading. It was loading a new room. The painting is so bland that you have to focus to see that it's even there. It looks like the work of a person afraid to change its surroundings. Also kind of like the remake of the first game. Hey, yo, zinger. Someone who's resigned and isn't willing to put himself out there. Who hates to see even his loved ones out and about and free. A man who will imprison his family just to stop them from becoming better than him. Yeah, I had to take a little bit to process what I was reading there. Damn. I mean, that's, that's just a famous Saturn eating his son. God, I thought there I thought there was a childbirth, but that no, that's a head. Like an adult head. Well, there's three things in a row there that were focusing on heads. And then just suddenly this guy. I thought we were having a little motif going on. Ugh. More hallway? Looks exactly like that's locked, okay. I can break down this chain. And my hand is covered in burns now. Close that door behind me. Like that it's just instinct. Let me out! bathroom for a moment there. Okay. Basement. Whatever you say about this place, it had great acoustics. <laughs> I like the, ra the sudden compliment there. Rats. I could move souls. I could do anything I wanted with them, if I had them listening. This here, it was my place of power. You haven't met me. Never underestimate my ability to have hot takes on the most beautiful of music. 
and stories. Oh. Yeah. That's not how I was expecting that to go. I was expecting her to play the piano and find out that she can't make it sound good anymore. Oh god. That's the long corridor. Today, after dinner, I tried to pick up the violin. I just couldn't grasp the bow. The problem wasn't even holding it properly. It was holding it all... Holding it at all and not letting go. Not screaming with pain. It's like my hands are in shackles and every finger has its own ball and chain. I can't move them properly. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of pathos for her story here. What? What? Like, for the record, what that said was she couldn't play, of course, but her dreams about music were something to behold. It was more or less that. But it came with that really guttural voice sound. At first I thought it was like a transcription of some words on the wall. But there's nothing there. All right, so we're in the basement now, and we're dealing with rats. A painting as boring as this one could only be conceived by a person who doesn't feel or understand emotion anymore. A vile, heartless man locked in a bland and boring prison. I mean, like, I don't know if you want to start throwing stones. I mean, not you specifically, lady with the musician ship, but, like, layers of fear. I don't know if you want to start throwing stones. Because <laughs> the stuff that makes horror uncomfortable to me, and therefore tense, and even scary is that it is a bland aesthetic. I fear being trapped in this blandness. You have to be pretty bland to make a very good horror story. You have to be. And to make a game that looks this good, you have to be pretty bland. That was cool. Everything will be all right. No, I, I don't want more strangers to see me like this. But I can't do this alone. I'm not a doctor. There's my work, there's our daughter. There's too much for one person. Please, darling. 
We need help. But the medicine helps. It isn't that bad. My body will heal. I will heal. I, I just... I need to be with my loved ones. With you. Not with the doctors. We can't let that accident take our life from us. One more little pro tip for game devs out there. Don't put in the achievement that this is the first conversation. Like, let, let it be a surprise that there's more. I don't need to be reminded of a structure when I'm in the middle of it. Like the, the the structural awareness comes afterwards, when you can see the whole picture. I try to think of better times of our engagement, of the exhibition we did together. His paintings on the walls, my music in the air, freedom. There is a, a lot of pathos to this story. I really feel it. I'm so glad you are all doing well. Are you sure, though, that you should be planning a journey abroad already? Traveling can be exhausting, even in the best of circumstances. Please, give yourself time to heal. Please. Practicing again. It isn't much, and it's frustrating, but it feels good. Rabadaba keeps telling me. Try to look at that name. Yeah, it's kind of a different name now. They are they are trying to keep it vague. And it, it still could be something like Elud. That first one didn't even look like a letter. I mean, it didn't look like an English letter. It look, looks like a butterfly. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah keeps telling me that I should be careful. I don't think he believes I can get better. I think he likes it that I'm locked in here. In this house. In my body. With him having all the control. I'm trapped in this house. In its body. In my head. Ah, the office. This is where we pretended to be normal, sane, stable people. Where the shackles were the heaviest. <laughs> pretended to be normal people with an office in their house. If I'm not able to go out and be the lady of the house, they will send me to the hospital. I, I know it. I will be locked there for life. I know, different times. Which also accounts for the office thing. I mean, like... <coughs> I've lived in houses, and I still currently live in a house, where there are rooms that can be used as offices, but they're not dedicated to it. That's a giant shackle. What the hell kind of sculpture is that? Oh, he's wrestling a snake. I thought it was another person's hand. Right, anything here? Or no? No. No. All right. 
Alright, what happens if I try to leave? Yeah. Level three, four. Level four. I think. Nicholas Cage. A library is so much more than just a room. It's an escape. Hundreds of escape exits. God, I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm an Elden Ring. There's the minor tower in... It's not called Lucretia. What the hell is it called? The lake place. The minor tower. That very spacious environment. We have to fight a lot of magic enemies. It's not the academy, it's like the minor place. I'm just reminded of that. I actually quite like that place. Yeah, see, you're trying to be scary with that, but books just do that. Scratching my head. Okay. What we got over here? Some sort of an old school Satan y kind of guy with a face on his belly. Ladder blocking the way. Entirely blocking the way. It's, I can walk right through these chains. Right. This is, seriously, where, where where am I going? What what am I doing? I'm not going that way. I'm not going around this. Do I just go back? I wish there was a zoom button. I'm not terribly sure what I'm looking at right now. Isn't that sweet? Yep, I figured that was going to block me off. I don't know where to go. I can't go back. Because that narrows it down. Gotta go somewhere over here. Doop a doop doop. Ba doop a doop doop. Ba doop 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 doop. Doop a doop doop. Ba doop a doop doop. I can't, like, interact with this painting, can I? No. I didn't think so. There's got to be something here, then. What the hell? The child needs you. I understand this is hard. I understand that you're in pain. But you are a mother for God's sake. Ah, the new theme. 
the shackles of motherhood. Which are much more societal than biological. Watch the punch of wood. There's a really conspicuous door over there. But I can also walk this way. What in the hell? Why can I go both ways? And I can even continue walking. Another door. And a staircase going down. Alright, look, I'll bite. Sound design is rather impeccable. That just makes perfect. That door opened and then closed again. Why did it open and then close again? I may be in a different place than I thought I would be. Yeah, the door I entered was over there, and I came out over there. Hey, let's, let's go back to that other door. I'm realizing I've got to go into all these. is a grown man. A grown man who swore to love you, honor you, comfort you, and keep you in sickness and in health. You know the damage the flames do better than anyone. Don't set yourself on fire to keep him warm. Look, he can make noises when I'm looking away. But that time notwithstanding, I'm not going to look back. Now that is a cool touch. I like that these doors are opening for me. It's actually... Off-putting. Two. That one's down there. Oh, I'm missing three. That one's down there. That one's over there. I've got to go this way. 
Remember, I want safe mode. And this isn't as bad because I'm in a big, wide, spacious place. Back over there. Footsteps. Okay. This is definitely a lot to play a horror game with headphones on. Sebastian, I thought I would be the best mother to ever walk the earth, and it almost killed me. With Margaret, I give myself more space to breathe, to be myself. I'm happier for that, and the children seem to be happier too. What is that noise? I do know how this is going. I'm gonna have to have another encounter with the husband. Sooner or later. Oh, there's nothing left over now. But the sadness remains. that I'm feeling. It always brings to mind a passage from House of Leaves from in the introduction where Johnny Truant mentions finding the Zampano's trunk of papers. I always remember that little quote which goes something along the lines of if someone had told us to be careful Right then, we would have. That, that's it. Just, just that. But I think of that when I am scared by a horror game. It just, it feels appropriate. Huh. I like that. So I thought I recognized that, and I look back at it. Just, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a mood. If someone told us to be careful, we would have. Like, I can feel that. What am I looking at here? Okay, it's a downward... Okay. I feel like it's the house that is moving around me. Not me moving around the house. My head is spinning. Oh. I appreciate the additional disorientation. I always go for disorientation and misdirection and mazes in my walking sims. surge of power. It shouldn't be so prominent in the three or maybe two year old, but I remember it clearly. 
the realization that the piano would do what I wanted it to. The feeling of complete control. From that day, I strived for it. So honestly, this collection of feelings that I'm alluding to here... What in hell is that? Oh, it's the, the deer, okay. This feeling of both carefulness and of, like, awareness that I should be careful. Which is probably some sort of a subset of awe. I similarly felt this at quite a few points, mostly early on in the Talos Principle 2. Which I played recently, when it only came out in November, so of course I played it recently. And I considered recording myself play through it. But at the time I elected not to do that because I knew that from the first game I knew that the Talos Principle is like a 40 hour experience and it's mostly solving puzzles. And I just I didn't want to commit to that much disk space on my hard drive. Though, as I played more of the Talos Principle 2, well, for one thing, my... I think my decision was justified, because it ended up being a, like... nearly 50-hour experience. Locked. Oh, God. And I definitely did not have... that much disk space on my hard drive. But furthermore, I think it would have been interesting if I had been able to record it. Simply by merit of... I didn't like the Talos Principle 2 that much. And I would have actually liked to be able to record my reactions to it and like a, illustrate why I felt the way that I did about it. I mean, I enjoyed the puzzles. And I enjoyed the atmosphere Even that... Even the sky is shackled with chains. I, mean, I guess. This may have been more effective if we were outside. But anyway. What was I saying? I was talking about just... I don't know, just the story in that game. I would have done it differently. Although, it, like, it began brilliantly. It has one of the most brilliant premises for a sequel that I could ever imagine. God. Do you remember the saying that behind every great man stands a great woman? Your husband has the bearing of a great man, but without your help, without someone who is always there for him, who keeps the fire at home, he will writhe and die. Okay, writhe and die. You proved yourself to be a strong woman. I know you have it in you to be there for him, even now. The tragedy that hurt you hurt him too. I know you have compassion in your heart. Reach for it. Your friend and lawyer, <laughs> James Jerome Sadler. It's gotten too quiet. And that blatantly says run. I'm running. I'm running. There is no escape. Whatever, I'll talk about Tell's Principle 2 some other time. Remember, I am a 
on safe mode. I think that's it. I think that's it for the shackles. It was quite helpful to be able to talk about Talos Principle instead of focusing on this. I might do that more, but not right this second. Honestly, I just want to get through this sequence right, right now. Wait. Wait. Whoa. Should I have been down there? Should I have been down there? Christ on a cracker. Okay, just, just hang on, let me go check on that. Why did that message say run? Why are my footsteps so vivid? That really puts me on edge. The sound of my own footsteps. Okay, here we go. Oh dear God. Can I... I have to. I have to get it back. I, I have to learn to write again. It's not going to be terribly easy to leave here, is it? Or maybe... <laughs> Rope. I, I think I'll focus on music. I hit Sebastian. I need to learn myself again. I hope I clicked on the right one. Okay, yes I did. You could, like, if it's gonna take you this much effort, you could have focused on the left hand. Like, seriously, just focus- <coughs> Learn to write with your left hand. Dearest illegible, you were just a child, but in ten years' time you'll be a woman. It's a hard part to play. I want to tell you the lessons I learned when my life fell apart. When you become a mother, give yourself space to breathe, to be yourself. You will be happier, and your children will be too. There's no such thing as a perfect mother. The only rule is to love your child. In marriage, remember that he is your husband not your child. A grown man who swore to love you, honor you, and keep you in sickness and in health. Care for him deeply, but don't forget about yourself. If you pursue art, use it to discover the deepest truth of your own soul. Then everything else, fame, money, won't matter. Once you learn how to uncover your own soul with your art, when you feel that surge of power, that's when you'll know that you're an artist. I pray that you don't have to learn these lessons the hard way. I love you, always. Your nameless mother. But yeah, no, that's fair enough. A good description of the artistic process. Yeah. Like I'm always bound. Oh, we're going to our daughter's room now. The 
All I wanted was for her to be happy and free. No subtitle of that one. Huh. <laughs> I like that. That door is open. Honey, wait for me. There's always a way to connect with the things we love. And this way is acceptance. Not so fast. Hawk door. There was one reason for her to be strong. Her little daughter. But it was all wrong. Hi there. <laughs> Wait for mommy. Note on that door. No note on that one. <coughs> she likes to dance, my free bird. Blissfully ignorant of the prison this world is. I wish I could play something for her. I need to play something for her. How does this say? Jeez. My daughter. Be strong for her, not for yourself. Now that that was a better scare. I mean it. It wasn't that advanced, but it didn't need to be. Come on, sweetie. You know mommy can't go down there with you. <sighs> they tried to play. But it was insane to caress a child with hands bound with chain. You know, the, the meter on that rhyme was a bit strained. That reminds me, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure one of the things, one of the best parts of the original Layers of Fear that's missing from the remake, although I understand. <coughs> I understand why they took it out. <laughs> We'd walk in the kitchen area during the uh, the child chapter, and you just see this this little doll run across the <laughs> run into the room and then just bash its head on the wall and fall over crying. And you can keep on looping that and seeing that again and again. <laughs> it's it's just a doll. It's not an actual child, but <laughs> it's. It's so unexpected. It's, it's kind of goofy. You can't remember. Why did you whisper that? Hello? M Mario? Nice. I'm into it. This is creeping me out.
She named it Mr. Quiet. Mr. Quiet is her favorite toy. He never screams, she told me. He never makes a sound. God, could you imagine that in this game? Something that didn't make a sound. That'd be a welcome reprieve. And they could make that really scary. That was a subtle insult <laughs> to this game. Which isn't really fair. I appreciate that that wasn't an actual conversation. That actually, <coughs> that was surprising. I was happy to be surprised. So, yeah. This will all be stuff I've read before. I quite like that chapter. This looks relatively normal, except for those chains over there. I need to do more. If they see me playing a Sonata, they won't lock me up. Something more. The, uh, this is not the stairs. The, these are the stairs. There will be more down here now. I hope she picks up music again. It would be such a loss for the world if she didn't. I pray that she still has it in her. From the agent, Thomas Caldwell. So if only I could leave the house. I'm sure that when she gets better, both her art and yours will reach new heights. It's just a matter of time and her wanting to heal. Your friend and lawyer, Sadler. Into the art studio. Oh, the kitchen. Okay, of course. Maybe I shouldn't have walked into a small room. Yes! I hit it! Can't you see what's happening to you? Alright then, time for the kitchen chapter. <laughs> the rotten heart of our house. time when I couldn't spend a day without crying, but now I don't even want to do that. It's like my emotions are locked in their own cage. 
and I can't even be bothered to look for the key. Yeah, I've been there. Pro tip to you, lady. Don't start smoking weed. It will not help you out of that cage. It will bury you in another cage. Like on top of the ones you've already got. <coughs> playing, <coughs> playing with our daughter is usually a joyous occasion, one of few left in my life. Today, though, I had to ask her to leave almost mid-sentence. I had to pull the Sopranos on her. <laughs> it's all these questions. How do you feel, Mommy? What do you think, Mommy? Mommy, why are you sad? What's your name, Mommy? <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny. I don't know, darling. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know my own name. I don't know anything but the fact that my chains grow heavier every day. I feel like with slight adjustments to the themes, they, they could have made a a, a tribute to William Blake through a lot of this. I won't really elaborate on that, be, partly because I, I, it's not really that intelligent what I'm trying to say here. Just that I'm reminded of the themes of some of Blake's poems, namely, thing, which part do I want to destroy? Namely, the cycle of of a, a reason. Your reason, horizon, a reason. The the demiurge guy. Well, it probably also applies to loss. The creative. The creator. Not in God's name. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh, okay, c c calm, calm down. It, you, you, c calm down. You're w you're wigging me out here. Why are there three scales? So this, I think it's supposed to be that painting, or that that piece over there that's getting her heart racing. Hello? Ma -ma -ma Mario? Mario! Is that a cello or a tripod? Stairs. Dr. Richards, I feel that my soul has gone sick, and that's why I'm writing to you. It's like all my energy has gone away. It's hard to even get out of the bed. Not because of the pain. I don't mind the pain as much as I used to. I just can't see the point of getting up, eating, talking to anyone living this life in the prison my body has become. Depends on what I'm looking at here. It's like a noose, isn't it? I don't know what that is. So I'll destroy the noose. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's better. I probably shouldn't have destroyed the baby doll. Look, I, I didn't quite process the choice. And I still don't e I don't even remember there being a choice. But there must have been. Mrs. Vebebe. Symptoms you're describing aren't uncommon, especially among women and artists. Hysteria and melancholy. Avoiding extreme emotions. Spending time with peaceful surroundings. Sort of trouble women here. Light. We had another argument today. Vebebe asked if I was feeling alright. Look at that name again. That one looks like it's saying Willie. He asked if I was feeling alright and I just snapped. I don't understand why I'm being treated this way. The accident was ages ago and I left largely unscathed. I'm fine now. It's like he wants me to be locked in this house forever. He was hurt. I could see that. And as ashamed as I am to admit it, it brought me a bit of satisfaction. What have I become? Lady, why are you asking me? I don't know. That's for, for you to decide. Damn. Closed door and an open door. Right, well, what am I... Anything in here for me to grab? I don't see anything. <laughs> Jesus! That was startling. And I actually like I like that kind of scare. Cause it was you were messing with the basic mechanic of opening and closing doors. Oh. Really? The music again? Jesus. Oops. These chains are of our own making. I appreciate that it ends that quickly. But I'm still confused. I wrote to the doctor, declining his offer. I won't be locked up. I won't let them. I will get through this on my own. This is my head. Oh, okay. Safe mode, safe mode, safe mode. Really? Wow. Hey, buddy. Safe mode, safe mode. Do, 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 do. 
wonder why they chose to have every single one of those sequences have the exact same music. Right, what what am I what are my choices here? That's my violin. That was a laugh of respect. I like that I saw my husband there. In God's name. Locked. Locked. So this will be right. I have the feeling that I chose against my daughter, at least at the start of that chapter. Now we go into his painting. Jesus! Claim that you're perfect? Nothing would hurt you if it were the truth. Perfection is incorruptible, eternal, proud. Look at you, chasing me around like a fool. What even am I to you? My true self. I am perfect. Nothing can hurt me. This is just a test. And I'm passing it. Everything is fine. Yeah, she's starting to lose it a little bit. I mean, like, talking to your, to your painting is pretty healthy. But the things she was saying, she's kind of losing it a bit. Anything else on here? No. Anything else on here? No. Right. Gotta go downstairs. That was a kitchen. My husband's palace. When he locked himself in there, the whole house felt like a prison cell. Neat. I, d I do really like this pa this rather blank painting.
Where's my flashlight? If I don't have the flashlight, then I probably don't have to worry about having to fight enemies. Jesus. Jesus Louises Josephinus. Yeah, the beat's kind of kind of nice. Boom, 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 boom. And this is pretty cool. Boom, 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 and so on and so forth. Supposed to avoid that light, or okay, I'm good. Yesterday I was woken up by, I think, the most terrible sound I've ever heard. It was like a sick cat being slowly strangled. It took me a long time to realize it was the violin. She had picked it up and tried to play. I think there's no coming back for her. Yeah, that was a dickish thing to write. I'm legitimately surprised that I don't seem to have a flashlight. And I don't think I'll be able to go back. No. Look at that noise is starting to make me slightly uncomfortable. Let me see, I gotta go this way. Where is my flashlight? Right, this whole situation is hard for your child. Maybe you should spend less time with her. I know it's painful, but I believe it will be for the best. You both need time. Your friend forever, Beatrice Gillespie. Sometimes things change too much. This is no longer the person I loved. But this is not a person I could ever love. Damn. That was cool.
this is it's a pretty tense sequence. I like this quite a lot. Darkening is up there. Do I go up here or do I not? Alright, look, I'm going to focus on that way. Mrs. Evaba, I don't think you fully understand your condition. You've been in a terrible accident, and you are, to be honest, lucky to be alive, not to mention writing letters. Demanding your body to return to normal, to being healthy, is like demanding a broken mirror to fix itself. You're doing great progress, and you are healing, but I'm afraid that things won't be back to normal. No doctor on Earth can make the pain go away. I'm truly sorry to tell you that, but you will have to learn to live with it. Damn. Come on, then break the mirror. Yep. I hope you'll understand one day. All my life, I was told to strive for perfection. And I didn't strive. I achieved it. I was the most talented musician, the most inspiring you, the most caring mother, the perfect wife. I never accepted my own weakness as an excuse. And then it caught up to me. Now there is no coming back, the life we had. Right no with use. your left hand. How could they understand it if I don't? I think I just need something that will work. I need this to end. There is no coming back to the perfection I once had. Left hand. No coming back to chaining myself into the roles people want me to play. Fair enough. No coming back to crushing my soul under others' expectations that I think are my own. There will be no coming back here. I'm ugly. I'm disabled. I'm useless. I'm free. So she just left. She didn't kill herself. That's a much better ending then. Like much happier. I would even go as far as to call that the happy ending. Right. Jesus.